Environmental Protection Agency is investigating the Pritzker administration's approval of a new scrap shredder on the city's southeast side. And WGN political reporter Taman Bradley is live tonight with the details there. Taman. Ray and Micah, good evening. This Hegwish community has long worried about pollution. Now they're concerned about plans to recycle cars and other products right here. For Southeast Side residents opposed to a new scrap shredder in their community, a small victory. The U.S. EPA's Civil Rights Division is now investigating why the Pritzker administration's EPA approved building the shredder in a low income neighborhood along the Calumet River at East 116th. They are just trying to keep the status quo and keeping this community a dumping ground. U.S. Housing and Urban Development was already on the case, investigating complaints by Southeast Side residents of a long pattern of environmental racism. They accused the city of aiding and moving the air polluting scrap shredder from wealthy white Lincoln Park to the predominantly Latino neighborhoods surrounded by black neighborhoods. The scrap shredder would be located near schools. We already have some of the highest COPD uh, instances than any other part of the city, higher heart disease, and we're also a community that's medically underserved. And I'm very concerned that um, my children are going to be in danger. In fall of 2019, General Iron signed an agreement to stop accepting scrap metal at its north side location. But Reserve Management Group, which purchased General Iron's assets, announced the southeast side scrap shredder. Last year, the Pritzker EPA studied air quality impact and approved a permit for RMG. In a statement, a spokeswoman for the Illinois EPA said, it will work with the U.S. EPA and involved parties in the review of the complaint. This neighborhood once was the, the hub of the steel industry and it was um, a time when people can actually have a job to pay their mortgage, send their kids to college, where those jobs are gone. And because of the zoning that has not changed since the, that's 40 years later, uh, we're still accepting very dirty practices in this community. We reached out to RMG, no response. The alderman here, Sue Garza, she's mentioned in the lawsuit and she told us today she could not discuss the matter. We're live tonight from the southeast side. Tamon Bradley, WGN News. We'll stay on.